put our minds together to improve our schools because our children deserve a world-class education, too, that prepares them for college and careers. And that means returning control of Indian education to tribal nations with additional resources and support so that you can direct your children's education and reform schools here in Indian country. The Confederated Tribes of Warm Springs Indian Reservation of Oregon covers a thousand square miles from the high desert of central Oregon to the Cascades. The over 4,000 residents represent the Warm Springs, Wasco, and Paiute tribes that have inhabited the region for millennia. Like many tribal nations, there are pressing needs. However, the number one priority is high quality education to help the children succeed. So in 2011, the school board, the board of directors, and the tribal council sat down for the first time in many decades and talked about what they want to see for the future of Warm Springs students. And one of the number one top priorities within five years was to create a new facility for um, students. Both parties agreed that we needed to have a new school for our kiddos. They deserved it. Uh, there was a lot of different things going on at the old school that were problematic and we knew would only get worse. So in the development of that MOU, we made the goal of by this time in a five-year frame, we're going to have a new school. Each council sits down and discusses priorities and we put together a proclamation that identifies uh, our work and plan for that three-year term, education and youth are always a priority to the Tribal Council. The community sends a message to its children how important education is. And this really does talk about the relationship between the school district, the tribes, um, the taxpayer of both entities coming together and saying you're important to us, you're important enough that we need a facility that's going to match what our desires are. Yeah. Um, the former school that we had resided in was originally built in the 1930s, and uh, um, it was definitely outdated. We had students that were traveling among portables across uh, fields to get to different el elements of the building, using a lot of uh, resources, a lot of time to do that. A bond measure passed with countywide support from residents, both tribal and non-tribal, to provide the funding necessary to build the new school and bring modern state-of-the-art technology to the children at Warm Springs Academy. I, I think it gives them more of a sense of belonging. And prior to this being built, that you know, our sixth, seventh, and eighth graders went to Madras. And, you know, I think we have an opportunity here to uh, keep them here a little longer. So I, I think the facilities works out well on behalf of the kids. It's, it's really different from the old school. It's like more organized and I'm glad that they um, moved it up to eighth grade instead of only fifth. So we didn't, so we could stay longer and we wouldn't have to go straight to JCMS as soon. They wanted it to be their school. They wanted to see it reflect Warm Springs. They wanted it to reflect our culture, our traditions, and be able to have the things in it that are important to the tribe. USDA Rural Development provided nearly a third of the funding for the school with a low interest loan through the Community Facilities Program. We wouldn't be here today talking about the building without the involvement of the USDA and the funding um, to support the project. It has been an absolute pleasure directing USDA programs and technical assistance to support the vision of the Confederated Tribes of the Warm Springs as they honor their ancestors and their great history. But without USDA, we would, um, I don't know where we'd be, but you know, very thankful for what USDA has brought to the table and helping making this become a reality. It's essentially this community believing in our kids and valuing education and saying, we believe in you and want you to go forth and do great things. The facility is, is a beautiful addition to Warm Springs.